Last time on Dungeons and Emblems. I look at the dog and go, so you want to come with me? No! The, the, basset, the hound? basset hound. No! We're all contesting Leave. animal handling check. Leave it! If not, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna animal friend. If I don't win. You bastard! I don't even have a chance then. Um, uh, nine. What'd you get? Nine. A ten. A ten? Yeah. I cast animal friend. You fucking Melissa <laughs> spell something. <laughs> oh, you have to break your bond with your other. T- does that mean yes? Yeah. Oh, really? So that means this this uh, animal will become a rabbit wolf. I mean, like if you, I would say your character would know, would know, know that. I know, I know. Okay, I got this. Hold on. Because uh-huh. right, this was what I was gonna do anyway. I look at the wolf and I go, go back to your wolf pack. And there's another wolf that is very sick. While you're doing that, I run with my dog. I say, come on, you're gonna come back. Come on, let's go. Probably here. Holy shit, what's happening? This is. Uh, <laughs> what's happening? But this wolf? is like meta gamey because then you're like. Mm-hmm. It's both. It's contested metagamer. But at the same time... Metagamer versus metagamer. I'm going to metagamer. I don't normally do this. I'm just going to do this now because we need to get on track. Okay. So you find them? So I find them? You go find all right. them. While, while she's doing all this investigating, I'd like, to be do, I'd like to be talking with Baron. And he gives you the information about seven different stones. More shit, and there's seven of them. Oh, fuck! Seven more. There's technically eight. In total. Oh, eight in total. Oh my god! I'm gonna make this note. The eight stones. The eight stones. What is it, peanut butter? Seven? Yes. Oh. You do not pass. Prince? Do you not like peanut butter? Yeah. 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 No, he can't. He's allergic. Oh, really? He's allergic. Oh god, wash your mouth. Very bad. He's... Oh, he like, he, how allergic are you? He's fixing it now. D- D&D, the, the episode where Prince dies in IRL. <laughs> no, it's a feeling. And she goes, Am I? I'm, I'm not trying to. Oh, trying to eat us all alive, huh? No. You're an asshole. Do you want me to? I can. Oh, see? See, there it is. There's the viciousness. There's the nature coming out. Now you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> As the tentacles squeeze around her neck, tightening where she left her bow, her bow and arrow thing and sticking out of it, and it squeezes it into it, and it comes out the other side. She has graphic detail of uh, the arrow just going out the other side of its neck. I used to. I used to live in a swimming village, and I dive in. (laughs) Okay. Are you going to? Yep. As you both start diving in, I'm walking back to the camp. You guys hear voices. Oh, it's another voice. (gasps) Oh fuck it! No. (laughs) (laughs) I drag you along. You actually see another one, kind of just look up as you start swimming underneath. Oh no no! (laughs) Fuck this! And I grab, I grab Abby. (laughs) I'm like, all right, we're going, Abby. (laughs) Okay. It's unimportant. Yes, it's the most That's irrelevant rude. thing. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna kill him anyways. Exactly. So. Why? A one day one sauce. A one day one sauce, bro. A one day one sauce. What can I say? Welcome to the next episode. Oh no, we're welcoming our sauce. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. We've been welcomed. She oh, you've been welcomed. Welcome. Oh, okay, cool. Vas. Does Jack Truth want to do his normal Jack Truth thing? Ah, so, oh, last time we left off, you know, I came back from the dead. Did you know that, don't you know? What's that? Yeah, keep going. So, um, I was really plastered with power, basically, because I was able to single-handedly reverse Daniel's death. Uh, Cause it's because I'm the most powerful creature in the planet. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> the most powerful creature on the planet. Nothing can stop me now. I, I mean, I'm on a roll at this point. Uh, so I got into some argument with uh, Baron about how ugly his mother was, or something like that. And so we uh, mm-hmm. we decided that. Oh no! He's actually started researching what the fuck was going on in the town because we wanted to know 
everything, every little detail, every little nook and cranny discovered and whatnot. So we found out well, uh, the why they, everyone was like, you know, going crazy, killing people and whatnot. So uh, we went to this uh, this place to start rounding out people who had arrows. Because, you know, I don't like our people, you don't like our people, so we, we rounded them all up. I wanted to kill every last one of them, but for some reason, they wanted to interrogate them. It was strange. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So we ended up doing that instead, and uh, came across some arrow dude person, and they were all like, yo, I'll get a doggy. And I was like, well, I want a doggy too now, so that we can investigate further. Uh, so... We got doggies, and my doggy was, of course, the best doggy in the planet. So, oh, my doggy, um, it found the trail for the uh, arrow, I believe, or one of the one of the other arrow or the stone thing. So there are stones now. Ah, yeah, the stones are so cool. I want the bloodstone, of course, just because there's blood involved with it. I, well, I don't see want anything else. Fuck all the other stones, but we need all the stones in general, though, mm -hmm. because. Because, um, you know, we're the most powerful <laughs> entities in the world, so we need all the stones. We need to collect all the stones and shit. Thank you. So, anyways, you know, I was like, um, yeah, sure, we'll work with you, baby. And I started flexing for her a bit. Just a smidge, a smidge of flexing that I was doing. And, um, yeah, she totally, uh, fell for my charms and whatnot, so, um... Yeah, she totally believes that we're gonna help her, but we're really gonna kill her in the end, uh, cause we don't like we don't like her kind. So um, yeah, we went to oh, I forget the place. I forget it. It's some some place to do with dwarves. I wanted to go with the place with the frog people, cause that just sounded really cool in general, but you know, whatever, everyone else wanted to go to the other place with the dwarves or whatever, so those losers <laughs> went there, and uh, they were talking some shit about a white dragon, and I'm like, I'm not having it, dragons suck, dragons never do anything but destroy the planet, and they're probably the scum of the earth, really, uh, and so we started talking to the head honcho dude, chieftain, or whatever, and he was like, oh, the white dragon in the mountains! I spy a pig! I'm like, oh, okay. Whatever the fuck you're talking about, I guess we'll take care of it. And that's where he left off. Oh, yeah, we killed some siren bitch, too. You <laughs> did. Mm. Murder of siren bitch. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't even know why she was fucking there. Oh, uh, no. she's a monster? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she has. She, it's like, what is a wolf doing in the forest? Eating bugs? No. They're trying to kill something. Alright, last time you guys left off, you guys actually just. in Fandolin. Uh, by the way, I am inserting this adventure into my world because fuck it. Uh, it is the adventure that is found in the DD Essentials Kit of Ice Pirate Peaks, but I'm tweaking it and making it my own, so. Or do it. So, you guys wake up in the middle of a blizzard. It seems as though, since you guys went there, the storm went a little... It, it feels like the weather has just gotten a little crazier and a blizzard just hit. So, you just get the intense winds outside and just... You guys are now fully aware of the fact that you're in a very cold environment. Well, I, when you got there, yeah, it was cold, but it wasn't freezing. You wake up and it's freezing. It's fine. I have fur. You're fine. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, yeah. Daniel, my balls are chafing. Uh, do you want to? Have you tried in tucking in your fur? Very good. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> no, I don't know what to tell you then. I think I have to grow it out a bit more. Aye. I've been trimming it every now and then, you know. Well, there's the problem. Yeah, for the ladies. Fuck the ladies. I well, know. <laughs> now, well, yes, we technically do, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Uh, I get you. This is not how I predicted my mornings would be spent. So you have to predict that you're going to be in freezing cold weather at all you times. You always do, huh? And then just let it grow. And just say, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I like that suggestion. Uh, but right now, I think, uh, I don't know, I'll have to find some 
better attire for this shit. Well, I can't help you with that one, sadly. Uh, no, what I was thinking of doing was uh, shaving you off. Yeah, no, I can't help you with that one. See, and that's see, you're what taller I than me. See, you're taller. I know, and I would be out of all the hair and I'd be cold then. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll lick the areas that I shave off this so way. So that way you can freeze and there'll be a nice layer of ice around exactly, those Exactly, this way you don't freeze. feel it and you go numb in that part. In that oh yeah, part. and then I probably die. No, 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 no! Use your magic, your psychic powers to fend it off. You're right, I can't I can be relatively resistant to cold. Uh -huh. As I set my resistance to cold. <laughs> gonna do that real quick uh we're just gonna be resistant to ice real quick so is there like a physical change to you, or you no just, no, <laughs> no <you're> just, <laughs> it's just him he's just still got his fucking pirate outfit on the you want to fucking steal some of my shit he said go. He literally <laughs> just asked you that. That is rude. I know, right? So rude. How dare someone want I'm something? With, I'm gonna steal your shit. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Just do it. Exactly. That's how thieves work, man. You don't get caught. These, yeah, there's no <laughs> honor among thieves. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, of course the it is. I'm picking something. The Please don't that way. Right, right, right. I'm using that for my pizza. That's all I gotta say. Uh, you guys make your way out of the inn. I need, I need sustenance. Help. I'll look at you and go, wait, wait, trying to get food? No, 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 the other thing, clothing! All right, let's just get you to a shop then. Help me! You guys walk down and you guys are at this, it's, it's rather busy at the moment. Not too busy though. Let's skip the line. No, you don't skip the line because you don't go to the clothing store yet. Let's skip the line. You're at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you walk downstairs. <laughs> To where the where the where the pub is, and you do see. I skip the line. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a skip the line of what? We skip the line. There is no line. You don't okay. see a line. I skip it. Okay, you see a line, <laughs> <laughs> but no one else does, and everyone wonders what's what, what you're doing. Help me! <laughs> <laughs> Jack, come along. What? I need <laughs> help. You're beyond help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. You're cold. I know that! Yeah. I'm suffering hypothermia! You're gonna leave, you'll be fine. I'm suffering from hypothermia right now. Let's get you to a clothing store you real quick. You see Abby uh, there, and she's got her normal clothes on. In fact, she's wearing less clothes. Abby, mm -hmm. you're looking skimpy. You look like a prostitute, prostitute. <laughs> what? That's rude as fuck! I don't wear no She just enjoys the weather. This weather is nice! It's so... Oh, it's so good. It feels so nice on my skin. That's not. That doesn't make any sense. Um, not everyone is a is a is a nice hot weather dweller like you over here. Yeah, I'm baby. a warm weather dweller. Thank okay, you. Okay, warm weather dweller. Warm to cool, moderate cool. As you as you make your way, or are about to go outside the door towards the town or wherever you guys are going through the clothing shop, uh, the door opens, <laughs> and you see. Uh, about three foot dwarf in full armor and just. Oi! I had that was no people! Where are they? <laughs> you see them right in front of you. You see a small little gnome and a big tabaxi with a pirate outfit on. Bitch, especially piracy. <laughs> and a peg leg. Don't forget the peg leg. He does have a peg leg. He does have a peg leg. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm Darian. And this is Jock. Don't go telling people my name. <laughs> it's Jack Truth Rutherford the Third. Oh my bad, Jack Truth Rutherford the Third. Uh, what are you What are you doing here? Oh. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> this man is in dire need of weather that suits this clothes that suit this weather, or the vice versa. If you can change the weather, that would be really <laughs> great. You love the weather. He's the only one who hates it. You're fucking crazy. This one is glorious. No! There's something wrong with it. He's a warm weather dweller. Don't mind him. I'm a I'm warm, to, warm <laughs> to cold, moderate cold weather dweller. He doesn't know what he's talking. Uh, listen, I need help. You got jackets over there. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's literally jackets everywhere. 
you walk down, you walk downstairs, you saw an imaginary line in your head. You, you skipped that line. He grabbed your hand. You saw Abby. She was skippy. You walked over. You didn't look around at your surroundings. And as he as he points to the to the jackets everywhere, you can just literally see like lines of doors coming and grabbing jackets and stuff. Oh, so those free? No. Oh. Why are they just picking them up then? They're not paying for it. Yes, they are. We own them. Those are our jackets. Those stupid ass little man. So let's get you one of those. So if I just take one, does it make it mine? No. <laughs> but they're just taking it and they're making it. They said it's theirs. It was theirs before. So what about after? It will be theirs after. That's how that shit works. That's how possessions work. I thought everything was mine until it wasn't. The fuck are you on about? Don't mind him. He's a little bit uh, unaccommodated to the uh, culture. Oh. Touched? No, no, just unaccommodated to the culture. Oh, they touched one night. He walks away. Wow, I touch myself all the time. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, you don't need to know my business, man! Step off! <laughs> uh, you are... Whenever there's weather like this, that means it's a dragon. Or the white dragon of Ice Pirate Peak. Oh. Is... Incredibly upset by some sort of presence tilted. or something is happening that is making it. Every upset. time I come to somewhere, someone is tilted, dude. And it's the only thing that has changed within the past day is their arrival. So, um, anyways, I guess we're gonna. I'm going to procure with currency one of <laughs> these nice parchments you have in order to you place. You just say, boy. What? You said that you're gonna buy it. Boy? I yeah. buy it. Buy it, Chuck. You could buy it. No, <laughs> he totally said boy. Like, if you I want a jacket. You gotta buy it. I have to <laughs> buy it. Oh no! You can't believe you're making me do this, Jock. Okay, go ahead, do it, Jock. Do it. I don't care. Do your worst. What are you doing? He said he wants to buy it. He What's wrong boy. with your friend? Oh, he, like boy. I said. Culture shock. And then Do she, it. she just throws you her jacket. Oh! I always have this on me. I never use it though. This is stupid looking though. Like you. It fits you. Oh. Do you make gnome sized clothes in here? Do you see gnome sized clothes in here? Uh, they're kind of like. It's like a big gnome, like a burly gnome. <laughs> I'm. More of a slender gnome. Like slender gnome. Have you ever heard of slender gnome? Oh, I've heard of slender gnome too. <laughs> He's very tall and skinny. It's gross. He has a big old head and everything. It sounds like they're just talking about a really scrawny human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really what they sound like they always talk about. Though. They talk about wait, who are you? Why do I always say we? I always talk about you two, and then there's him, and now there's just like, what, 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 what are you on about? He's a salesman. He's a salesman? What no. What, what? I don't want him. But what are you talking about, boy and stuff? I. He didn't say boy. He totally said he it. He said bye. So what are you doing here? Bye. We are investigating the murder of the queen. Oh, yeah, that thing. So, as it happens, we have traced back some of this wait, information. Wait, wait, why the hell are we telling this guy? Uh, because we're we're, we're we're trying to get information. He's noise. Did oh, you noise. say noise? He's noise. Oh my god, what's wrong with everyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, can you tell us about... Oh, what was it? A gnome and two halflings? Two halflings, one gnome? I don't know, you know, there's a whole bunch of different ones, because I've seen two girls in one cup. Uh, that was a fantastic play. Uh, excellent play, I must play, I must agree. Uh, was uh, a little bit disturbing, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10, would watch again. I was in that play. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, were you the cup? <laughs> what? Uh, we might he be was. talking about two different things. Two different cups, or two different girls? Two different plays. Oh. 
we're, to- we're, you're talking about just two girls having a nice conversation with tea. All right. No. <laughs> no, no. So we are looking for a rock gnome with red shaggy hair. Accompanied okay. by two halflings. I thought yeah, it's two halflings, one gnome. Yeah, yeah. see? Because I know I, I made a note inside my head, two girls, one cup. And then that's what I was sticking with. So he probably knows more about this mountain than us. Uh, but first off, the, the, the girls, right? You no, know, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, not the two girls, one cup, but the two gnomes, one gnome. Two halflings, one gnome. He is asking you. I'll, I'll, I'll speak. I'll, ju- I'll speak Jack to you. Uh, he's just asking you if you've seen two halflings and a gnome accompanying each other. The gnome is pretty uh, foolish, apparently. No? No. Can't say I have. He's useless. It's <laughs> perfectly fine. We're Look used to this. Who's someone to help us get up the mountain, right? We don't. He doesn't do anything. Look, he just sits there talking about boy and I mean, stuff. He does have some nice armor. I have nice armor, too. Oh, wait, trying to get up the mountain? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh we're hunting after this gnome and, and two halflings that killed the queen. Oi. What? You know a shortcut. Do or not? What? What are you boying? I ain't boying you anything. Boy city. <laughs> I ain't boying anything. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> There's a catch to this. What do you mean? Some people are just good people. I mean, I helped you out. The same thing that I do. What is the tech thoughts? Okay. What is, what is he thinking? What are you thinking? This surface, surface thoughts? Dude, this guy's fucking weird. Okay, cool. I bet I can drink him under the table. <laughs> I have to really pee. <laughs> Holy shit, I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, I need to go for a moment. Yeah, you guys, that. you stay right here, I'll be right back. Okay, when he... What's your name, by the way? Uh, <laughs> Brule. Brule? Brule? Steve okay. Brule. Gotcha. Steve Brule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Steve Brule. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> as, as he goes, to use the bathroom. I, I, I leave. Oh, uh, Jack, where are you going? Uh, where I'm going... <laughs> Oh, we have to go. We have to hurry. Uh huh. We just want to abandon him. No, we have to but hurry. going up the mountain. We don't know the mountains well. We have to hurry. We they, they're fucking getting away like this. And they're gonna... Did you see how fast I snapped my finger? I was like this. And we can run faster than that. But they have long, dangly legs. I'm pretty sure their legs are like a quarter. Of you the know side what they're leg. doing? They're traveling <laughs> as one. They're climbing on top of each other. So, so instead of using three pairs of legs, they're using one pair of legs. Exactly. That's the same length as every other leg. Exactly. Thus, the only thing they're doing is, is really tiring one guy. they're probably wearing guy. an overcoat. Yeah, they're just tiring one guy, not increasing their speed. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm I'm talking so, about I'm like he's a warrior or something. He's one of our best warriors. I mean, a pretty good guy. Yeah, I don't trust him. You don't have to trust them. No, you, that, you no I have to him trust right, him. Right here, right I have my, to trust him. They're in my bar, so no, yes. I have to trust him. You have to? Yes. Then trust him. No. I don't see the problem. I see the problem. He said he wants to pee very badly and he could drink me on the table. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. I mean, I that means back. he could outdrink you. Bopping? Oh, I don't... I think that's cheating. And he walks back You know, it may very well be. You see him <laughs> come back from his pee. Damn it. Alright, so, when, when are we trying to get up the mountain? Uh, today, preferably. Ah, uh, we could do it tomorrow, we'll just meet you. Yeah, today, preferably. No, we'll just... <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab my fucking cup off the table and just take a long-ass sip. It's up this way! Perfect. He's got a wife Perfect. and two kids. That's great. Oh, That's good to know. <laughs> that doesn't make him any trustworthy, that makes him less trustworthy. No, that means, that means he has great. something to kill for. Exactly. <laughs> Two daughters, specifically. Oh my god! Oh. God forbid! Oh. oh, you're fucked. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that could be false, bro. I don't know. I'm just throwing on my ass. <laughs> I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and get into a fight. It's not what he's doing. <clears throat> It's unimportant. Yes, it's the most That's irrelevant rude. thing. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna kill him anyways. Exactly. So. Why? A one day one sauce. A one day one sauce, bro. A one day one sauce. All what right. can I say? Welcome to the next episode.
Oh no, we're welcoming ourselves uh, in. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. We've been welcomed. She oh, you've been welcomed. welcomed. Oh, okay, cool. Vas? Does Jack Truth want to do his normal Jack Truth thing? Ah! So! Oh, lost everything! I mean, we're gonna kill him anyways. So. Exactly. Why? <laughs> A1 day one <laughs> sauce. A1 day one sauce, bro. <laughs> A1 day one sauce, what right. can I say? Welcome to the next episode. Oh no, we're welcoming our sauce. Uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. We've been welcomed. She oh, you've been welcomed. Oh, okay, cool. Vas? Does Jack Truth want to do his normal Jack Truth thing? Ah, uh, so! Oh, last time we left off, you know, I came back from the dead. Did you know that, don't you know? So, um, I was really plastered with power, basically, because I was able to single-handedly reverse Daniel's death. Because uh, it's because I'm the most powerful creature in the planet. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> the most powerful creature on the planet. Nothing can stop me now. I, I mean, I'm on a roll at this point. Uh, so... I got into some argument with uh, Baron about how ugly his mother was or something like that. And so we, uh, we decided that, oh, no, we actually started researching what the fuck was going on in the town because we wanted to know everything, every little detail, every little nook and cranny discovered and whatnot. So we found out why they, everyone was like, you know, going crazy, killing people and whatnot. So... Uh, we went to this uh, this place to start rounding out people who had arrows. Because, you know, I don't like arrow people. You don't like arrow people. So we, we rounded them all up. We, I wanted to kill every last one of them. But for some reason, they wanted to interrogate them. It was strange. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So we ended up doing that instead. And uh, came across some arrow dude person. And they were all like, yo, I'll get a doggy. And I was like, well, I want a doggy too now so that we can investigate further. Uh, so we got doggies. And my doggy was, of course, the best doggy in the planet. So oh, my doggy, um, it found the trail for the uh, arrow, I believe, or one of the one or the other. Arrow or the stone thing. So there are stones now. Ah, yeah, the stones are so cool. I want the bloodstone, of course, just because there's blood involved with it. I, well, I don't see want anything else. Fuck all the other stones, but we need all the stones in general, though. Mm -hmm. Because... Because, um, you know, we're the most powerful <laughs> entities in the world, so we need all the stones. We need to collect all the stones and shit. Thank you, man. So, anyways, you know, I was like, um, yeah, sure, we'll work with you, baby. And I started flexing for her a bit. Just a smidge, a smidge of flexing. That I was doing, and um, yeah, she totally uh, fell for my charms and whatnot. So um, yeah, she totally believes that we're gonna help her, but we're really gonna kill her in the end because uh, we don't like we don't like her kind. So um, yeah, we went to oh, I forget the place. I forget it. It's some some place to do with dwarves. I wanted to go with the place with the frog people because that just sounded really cool in general, but you know, whatever. Everyone else wanted to go to the other place with the dwarves or whatever. So those losers <laughs> were there and uh, they were talking some shit about a white dragon and I'm like, I'm not having it. Dragons suck. Dragons never do anything but destroy the planet. And they're probably the scum of the earth, really. Uh, and so we started talking to the head honcho dude, chieftain, or whatever, and he was like, Oh, the white dragon in the mountains. I spy a pig. I'm like, oh, okay. Whatever the fuck you're talking about, I guess we'll take care of it. And then that's where he left off. Oh, yeah, we killed some siren bitch, too. <laughs> you did. Mm. Murder of siren bitch. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't even know why she was fucking there. Uh, no. She's a monster. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she has. She, it's like, what is a wolf doing in the forest? Eating bugs? No. They're trying to kill something. Alright, last time you guys left off, you guys actually just 
and Fandolin. Uh, by the way, I am inserting this adventure into my world because fuck it. Uh, it is the adventure that is found in the D&D Essentials Kit of Ice Pirate Peaks, but I'm tweaking it and making it my own, so... Poor guilt. So, you guys wake up in the middle of a blizzard. It seems as though, since you guys went there, the storm went a little... It, it feels like the weather has just gotten a little crazier, and a blizzard just hit. So, you just get the intense winds outside, and just... You guys are now fully aware of the fact that you're in a very cold environment. Well, I, when you got there, yeah, it was cold, but it wasn't freezing. You wake up and it's freezing. That's fine. I have fur. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, yeah, Daniel, my balls are chafing. Uh, do you want to? Have you tried tucking in your fur? Very good. Uh huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what to tell you then. I think I have to grow it out a bit more. Aye. I've been trimming it every now and then, you know. Well, there's the problem. Yeah, for the ladies. The ladies. I well, know. Now, well, <laughs> yes, we technically do, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Uh, I get you. This is not how I predicted my mornings would be spent. So you have to predict that you're going to be in freezing cold weather at all you times. You always do, huh? And then just let it grow. And just say fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I like that suggestion, uh, but right now I think uh, I don't know. I'll have to find some better attire for this shit. Well, uh, I can't help you with that one, sadly. Uh, no, what I was thinking of doing was uh, shaving you off. Yeah, no, I can't help you with that one. See, and that's see you're what taller I than me. See, you're, you're taller. I know, and I would be out of all the hair, and I'd be cool then. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll lick the areas <laughs> that I shave off this so way. So that way you can freeze, and there'll be a nice layer of ice around exactly, those areas. Exactly, this way you don't I'd feel freeze. it, and you go numb in that part. In that oh, yeah, part. and then I'd probably die. <laughs> no, Daniel, no! Use your magic, your psychic powers to fend it off. You're right. I can. I can be relatively resistant to cold. Uh -huh. As I set my resistance to cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do that real quick. Uh, we're just gonna be resistant to ice real quick. So is there like a physical change to you? you no. Nope. No. <laughs> no, just. <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> he just still got his fucking pirate outfit on in the middle of the yeah. shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the shop. Bust? You, just, just you want to fucking steal some of my shit? He said go. He <laughs> literally just asked you that. That is rude. I know, right? It's so rude. How dare someone want Come something? At me with, I'm going to steal your shit. Yeah. If you're going to do it, just do it. Exactly. That's how thieves work, man. You don't get caught. Thieves, yeah, there's no honor among thieves. Yeah, of course it is. I'm really in the situation. That right away. I'm using that for my pizza. That's all I gotta say. Uh, you guys make your way out of the inn. I need, I need sustenance. Help! I'll look at you both. Wait, wait. Are you wait trying uh, to get food? No, 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 no. The other thing, clothing. All right, let's just get you to a shop then. Help me! You guys walk down, and you guys are at this. It's rather busy at the moment. Not too busy though. Let's skip the line. No, you don't skip the line because you don't go to the clothing store yet. Let's skip the line. You're at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you walk downstairs to where the where the where the pub is, and you do see. Let's skip the line. Uh, a, 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 a skip the line to what? We skip, skip the line. There is no line. You don't okay. see a line. I skip it. Okay, you see a line, <laughs> but no one else does, and everyone wonders what's, what, what you're doing. Help me! <laughs> Jack, come along. What? Right I need on. help! You're beyond help. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. You're cold. I know that! Yeah. I'm suffering hypothermia! You're gonna leave, you'll be fine. I'm suffering from hypothermia right now. Let's get you to a clothing store real quick. You see Abby uh, there in... She's got her normal clothes on. In fact, she's wearing less clothes. Abby, <laughs> you're looking skimpy. You look like a prostitute. Prostitute. <laughs> what? That's rude as fuck. I don't wear no clothes. She just enjoys the weather. This weather is nice. It's so. Oh, it's so good. It feels so nice on my skin. That's not. That doesn't make any sense. Um, not everyone is a is a is a nice hot weather dweller like you over here yeah i'm baby. a warm weather dweller thank okay, you okay warm weather dweller warm to cool moderate cool 
as you as you make your way or are about to go outside the door towards the town or wherever you guys are going through the clothing shop, uh, the door opens, <laughs> and you see uh, about three foot dwarf in full armor and just oh, I had that was no people. Where are they? <laughs> and you see them right in front of you. You see a small little gnome. And a big tabaxi with a pirate outfit on. It's especially piracy. Especially <laughs> <laughs> and a peg leg. Don't forget the peg leg. He does have a peg leg. He does have a peg leg. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm Darian. And this is Jock. Don't go telling people my name. <laughs> it's Jock Truth Rutherford of the Third. Oh my bad. Jock Truth Rutherford of the Third. What are you What are you doing here? Oh. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> this man is in dire need of weather that suits this clothes that suit this weather or the vice versa if you can change the weather that would be really great <laughs> you love the weather he's the only one who hates it you're fucking crazy this weather's glorious no there's something wrong with it He's a warm weather dweller. Don't mind him. I'm a I'm warm, to, warm <laughs> to cold, moderate cold weather dweller. He doesn't know what he's talking. Uh, listen, I need help. You got jackets over there. Oh shit! Yeah, there's literally jackets everywhere. You walk down. You walk downstairs. You saw an imaginary line in your head. You you skipped that line. He grabbed your hand. You saw Abby. She was skimpy. You walked over. You didn't look around at your surroundings. And as he sh- as he points to the to the jackets everywhere, you can just literally see like lines of doors coming and grabbing jackets and stuff. Are oh, so those free? No. Oh. Why are they just picking them up then? They're not paying for it. Yes, they are. We own them. Those are our jackets. Oh, this stupid ass little man. So let's get you one of those. So if I just take one, does it make it mine? No. <laughs> but they're just taking it and they're making it. They said it's theirs. It was theirs before. So what about after? It will be theirs after. That's how that shit works. That's how possessions work. I thought everything was mine until it wasn't. The fuck are you on about? Don't mind him. He's a little bit uh, unaccommodated to the uh, culture. Oh, touched. No, no, just unaccommodated to the culture. Oh, he touched. I don't touch myself all the time. Where are you from? Uh, you don't need to know my business, man! Step off! <laughs> uh, you are... Whenever there's weather like this, that means that the dragon, or the white dragon of Ice Pirate Peak, oh. is incredibly upset by some sort of presence, tilted. or something is happening that is making it Every upset. time I come to somewhere, someone is tilted, dude. And the only thing that has changed within the past day is their writing. So, um, anyways, I guess we're gonna... I'm going to procure with currency one of these (laughs) nice parchments you have in order to place... You can just say boy. What? You can just say that you're gonna boy it. Boy? I buy it. Buy it, Chuck. You could buy it. No, (laughs) he totally said boy, like... If you I want don't, a jacket, you gotta boy it. I have to <laughs> boy it? Oh no! You can't believe you're making me do this! Jock. Okay, go ahead, do it! Jock. Do it, I don't care, do your worst! What are you doing? He said he wants to boy it. He What's wrong with your friend? Oh, he, like wrong? I said, culture shock. And then do he, it! She just throws you her jacket. Oh! I always have this on me, I never use it though. This is stupid looking though, like you. It fits you. Oh. Do you make gnome sized clothes in here? Do you see gnome sized clothes in here? Uh, they're kind of like, it's like a big gnome, like a burly gnome. <laughs> I'm more of a slender gnome. Like slender gnome. Have you ever heard of slender gnome? Oh, I've heard of slender gnome too. <laughs> He's very tall and skinny. 
It's gross. He has a big old head and everything. It sounds like they're just talking about a really strong human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really like that's something that they always talk about, though. They talk, wait, what are you talking about? Why do they always say we? I always talk about you two, and then we're just very much now. Now they're just like, what, 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 what are you on about? He's a salesman. He's a salesman? What no. are you selling? What? what? I don't want to. But what are you talking about, boy and stuff? I. He didn't say boy. He totally said he it. He said bye. So what are you doing here? Hi. We are investigating the murder of the queen. Oh, yeah, that thing. So, as it happens, we have traced back some of this wait, information. Wait, wait, why the hell are we telling this guy? Uh, because we're we're, we're we're trying to get information. He's noise. Did you noise? say noise? He's noise. Oh, my God. What's wrong with everyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Can you tell us about, oh, what was it, a gnome and two halflings? Two halflings, one gnome? I don't know. You know, there's a whole bunch of different ones, because I've seen two girls in one cup. Uh, that was a fantastic play. Uh, excellent play, I must play, I must agree. Uh, was uh, a little bit disturbing, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10 would watch again. I was in that play. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, were that. you the cup? We might he be was. talking about two different things. Two different cups or two different girls? Two different plays. Oh. We don't, you're talking about just two girls having a nice conversation with tea. Alright. No. <laughs> oh, no, no. So we are looking for a rock gnome with red shaggy hair. Accompanied okay. by two halflings. I thought it's yeah, two halflings, one gnome. Yeah, yeah. see? Because I know I, I made a note inside my head, two girls, one cup. And then that's what I was sticking with. So he probably knows more about this mountain than us. Uh, but first off, the 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 girls, right? You no, know. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, not the two girls, one cup, but the two gnomes, one gnome, two halflings, one gnome. He is asking you. I'll, I'll speak. I'll, do, I'll speak to you. Uh, he's just asking you if you are seeing two halflings and a gnome accompanying each other. The gnome is pretty uh, foolish at that. No? No. Can't say I have. He's useless. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. I, 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 we're used to this. someone to help us get the mountain right. We don't. He doesn't do anything. Look, he just sits there talking about boy and I stuff. Mean, he does have some nice armor. I have nice armor too. Oh, you trying to get up the mountain? Yeah. Yeah. Before. Oh, we're hunting after this gnome and, and two halflings that killed the queen. Oi. What? You can know a shortcut. Not. What? What are you boying? I ain't boying you anything. Boy city. <laughs> I ain't boying anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> There's a catch to this. Oh, you mean some people are just good people? I mean, I helped you out. The same as the catch that I do. What is the tech thoughts? Okay. What is, what is he thinking? What are you thinking? This surface, surface thoughts? Dude, this guy's fucking weird. Okay, cool. Bet I can drink him under the table. <laughs> I have to really pee. <laughs> Holy shit, I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, I need to go for a moment. Yeah, you guys, just... you stay right here, I'll be right back. Okay, when he... What's your name, by the way? Uh, <laughs> Brule. Brule? Brule? Steve okay. Brule. Gotcha. Steve Brule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> as, as he goes, he's about to use the bathroom. I leave. Uh, Jack, where are you going? Uh, where I'm going... <laughs> uh, we have to go, we have to hurry. Uh huh. We just want to abandon him. No, we have to no, hurry. He's going up the mountain. We don't know the mountains well. We have to hurry. We they, they're fucking getting away like this. And they're gonna Did you see how fast I snapped my finger? I was like this. And we can run faster than that. But they have long, dangly legs. I'm pretty sure their legs are like a quarter. Of you the know side what of they're life. doing? They're traveling <laughs> as one. They're climbing on top of each other. So, so instead of using three pairs of legs, they're using one pair of legs. Exactly. That's the same leg as every other leg. Exactly. Thus, the only thing they're doing is, is really tiring one guy. they're probably wearing guy. an overcoat. Yeah, they're just tiring one guy, not increasing their speed. Exactly. Well, I'm I'm talking about I've done like this he is a warrior or something. He's one of our best warriors. I mean, a pretty good guy. Yeah, I don't trust him. 
You don't have to trust them. No, you, that, you no I have to trust right, him. Right here, right here. I right. have to trust him. They're in my bar, so no, yes. No, I have to trust him. You have to? Yes. Then trust him. No. I don't see the problem. I see the problem. He said he wants to pee very badly and could drink. Hey, well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I that means back. he could outdrink you. Bop in? Oh, I don't. I think that's cheating. And he walks back. You know, it may very well be. You see him <laughs> come back from his pee. Damn it. Alright, so, when, when are we trying to get up the mountain? Oh, uh, today, preferably. Ah, uh, we could do it tomorrow, we'll just meet you. Yeah, today, preferably. No, we'll just... <laughs> alright, alright. I'm just gonna grab my fucking cup off the table and just take a long ass sip. It's up this way! Perfect! We've got a wife and two kids. That's great! Oh, That's good to know! <laughs> that doesn't make him any trustworthy, that makes him less trustworthy. Oh, that means he has care. something to kill for. Exactly! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. God forbid! Oh. oh! You're fucked. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that could be false, bro. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. And as you guys, <laughs> as you guys walk outside of the area, are you guys heading straight to the mountain, or what are you guys doing? Um, All right. So, uh, I understand my partner thinks that it's today that we need to leave. It's not. It's really later on this evening. So, um, we're going to grab some supplies real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, would you mind accompanying us and showing the best no, shop no, no, in town? No, no, no. You should actually... Yeah, you know what? We should make... We should cover <laughs> more area, right? Oh, you know what, Jack? You're right. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So yes. he should so probably... You, you no, 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 no. I, I, have long, I have short legs. I can't get around you Tom. You and Abby. I can't get around Tom fast. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I can't know. Why we're gonna I get go lost. Play. All the buildings are too tall. That's all right. Abby will help you. No, she doesn't know you, what the you fuck can she's doing. You stand up on her shoulders. She doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. You can stand up on top of her shoulders. Uh, Wouldn't that just make her tired? Exactly. Oh, no. Yeah, we wouldn't want Abby being tired. She's already fine. She punches you. <laughs> <laughs> really oh. hard. In your, in your eye. Not even that. Oh, oh. your fucking face. So, anyways, <laughs> she's really fun. I don't want her to <laughs> suffocate or nothing like that. You know, they have Make a con save. <laughs> Make a con save. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see. Is it with magic? Okay, no, it's okay. you're advantage, dumb. yeah. I don't we're not gonna I don't, rolled, it landed straight. Yeah technically it did. <laughs> Weirdly enough, eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, you start to levitate a little bit and then you kind of pull back. Oh. Anyways, so <laughs> uh yeah, um you can cover more ground than me can. Uh you find us some camping supplies and shit like that, yeah. He's trying to abandon you. No, I literally just asked him I don't know why, he's just an idiot. But Where yeah. is the best best place to find supplies for camping <laughs> yeah. out here in the winter around here? Absolutely. Oh, we need to accommodate a person who doesn't like the cold, so... He's the only one who's just uncomfortable here. I don't know why. Seriously. Sorry, warm weather dweller. No, this is why we die fast. Let's so go ahead and show him around, you know, to the what? Room, like the chops <laughs> and shit. This, yeah, this is why our lifespan is so short. Oh, look. Look. I mean, half of it's because we have daggers that can literally kill us. What? Oh, it's just okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about that part. It's nothing serious. So, so if you're really traveling with us and we accidentally stab you with a dagger and you just implode on yourself, don't really... Don't call, don't call me well, about it. You think I'm going to waste a dagger on him? No, you could just have him by accident. One day you're just sitting there, you're sitting there, you're, you're just tying your shoelace or something. You pull, oh, you stab him right in the chest. But then all you going to do. Exactly. And I'm like, shit, well, what the fuck are we going to do about this? And then you die. And then you're right there and you're dead. You are aware of when the dragon is active, every other thing on the mountain is active as well. So you probably want to prepare a heart. Yeah. It's bringing it out. All right, so supplies. Uh, yeah, supplies. Go around showing the you know local shops and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, he's showing. Medical. He's showing. So the I need five shit. health Armor. potions. Gotcha. I need them. Hey, there's five health potions. Here you go. I'm gonna take them to the smithery first and the last because my body owns it. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, okay. Okay. Make sure you get <laughs> make sure you get whatever you need. Yeah, well, you guys get yeah. a discount because he knows he knows the blacksmith. It tastes good. Chuck. Yeah. Not only is the blacksmith the blacksmith, but he owns the item shop as well. 
He's a he's it's a man of it. he's a man many of talent. many Save talents. He's, when you he's need oh, okay. You guys no walk, elves allowed though. You you guys walk into the biggest it's good we're not shop elves. into the in <laughs> town that happens to be a blacksmith and an iron shop at the same time. So you guys walk in and you can see this very shaggy looking dwarf. He has white hair all around, just white hair. Uh, he's got this Shut big up. overcoat, almost like John Snow size. <laughs> And uh, he's just hammering away at some, some weapons. Um, hello? Hello? Hi! <laughs> we need help! Similar idea. We need help! Oh, hey, 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 We need hey, help! All your beyond help, Jack. What do you need help with? You can just walk into the shop asking for help. What? We need help! They need, they need to get up the mountain. Ah, how you doing? Hey, how's it how going, Jack? Oh, I'm doing great, buddy. This How's is the wife. How's the kids? Oh, they're bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I as kids be. I, <laughs> be I love them. Uh, what they need to get over mountain. What are you looking for? He's with you. I get discount, I guess. I don't know. What do we need for mountain stuff? Oh, uh, like uh, everything on the mountain is going to be. I want to play Titans of Climbing Rope. Um, let's see here. What else can we get? Um. Do you have any of those like tents that can hang off the side of a mountain? That'd be really cool. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what if there's like? Do you have anything that like? If you if you're on the side of a mountain and you want to sleep, but you're on the side of a mountain, I'm just gonna point to that tent that hangs off the side of the mountain right there on the table. <laughs> so like, it's like a baby nut sock. It's a joint. That one's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I see that one's touched. Touched. All right. Um, what else do we need? Uh, rations to make it through. Rations, mm. possibly any healing potions. Okay. Yeah, animals are probably going to be active since the dragon's awake. Mm. Do you have anything that's a little bit higher quality than your standard minor potion? Uh, I can look in the back real quick. Uh, you Looking for something like four. maybe greater status. Ah, maybe. We'll see. Everything here is great. Alright, maybe, maybe I have something else. I don't know yet. I gotta look at my back supply. Do you have something that'll make you pudding while you're while you're adventuring? You mean the pudding maker 2.0? Yeah. I might have one. What do you want with my pudding maker? I want to make pudding while I'm adventuring. <laughs> oh, so I fell pudding lover. You like uh, no, I just want to try it, basically. You haven't had pudding before? I, I, I eat these, okay. I, I give them a bowl of nomios. <gasps> what are these? These are the most delicious, standard, nutritious deals in the planet. You know, I look at it and it looks like it got no flavor to it. How do you, how do you know that? You can't see flavor. You can only taste it. Did you know that? No, I, I got an even better idea. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, taste it. Right. Mm. Yeah. Absorb all of it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make a profit off of these. I do. I make a killing. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it has an aftertaste. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, it tastes like Pasha. Oh, my belly! Yeah, it tastes like Pasha. Oh, what is in that? This is, uh, it has, a, I think, 100% fiber in it. <laughs> fiber? Yeah. It's a bad boy to our stomach, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, man. Poison me, lad. Oh, that's not my fault. One second. And he goes to the way back. <laughs> and you just hear. And the one. And the God. I'm smart. Yeah, that book here right there is filled with it. <laughs> oh. oh. I see you throw up on Saturday night. Oh. <laughs> so about that pudding maker 2.0. <laughs> I can do yeah. that for you. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> it's the second edition. Okay. Alright, so 
I the like second it. edition of the 2.0 or the second edition? It's the 2.0. 2.0 second edition or just the 2.0? It's, it's like 2.0.2 or like 2.0.0. That update didn't come out yet. Oh! <laughs> they haven't patched it? Ah, uh, no, not yet. It's crazy, you know? Oh! Gameplay is all whack. <laughs> Wait, we're still talking about the same thing, right? Oh. I don't think so. And <laughs> Pudding Maker 2.0. What you see is like... Feces covered 2.0? <laughs> Pudding no. Maker? No, it seems to be this big bowl. And he gives you like some packs of ingredients. It's like in bags. So he shows you how to do it. He... And it comes from dust. So is this pixie magic? I don't know. It's cool. What do you mean you don't know? You said this is 2.0. You had the first one. It's still in development. <laughs> so you're telling me you just, you're just going around waving things you don't understand? This Occasionally. Could, this most things taking, I understand. This one's weird. You asked for it. You this know? could be sopping your soul, which is why you it tastes Do you want it or not? Good. Yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> this could be sapping your soul. <laughs> you want it? Of course I want it. I don't have one of those. Exactly. Don't worry. So you exactly. can go ahead and put that in. How many potions do you guys want to get? I have plenty. I gave you five. Uh huh. How many did you drink? I only drank all of them. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. grab three. Three health potions? That's right. I personally still have twelve. <laughs> it tastes so good. Oh. <laughs> <Of all. laughs> I'm keeping this greater healing potion for myself in case I. So that, that one looks better though. <laughs> that one looks tastier. Are you just gonna hog it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How much for the greater healing potion, mate? That'll be around eighty gold with the discount. All right. I'll hand them uh, eight pieces of plant. Ah, perfect. I haven't seen these little babies in a little while. They're not babies. Uh, for those three health potions, for you twenty gold. All right. Awesome. I agree. Special natural. The special. And for you, you just do you just only want the pudding maker? Mm. Mm, because it's an update and you know it's in development, five gold. I don't know what's gonna do to you. Thank you. I heard it steals your soul. <laughs> 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 I heard someone say <laughs> I may or may not be that someone, but you know what I would all right, and how much for the pythons, the climbing rope, and the tank? Oh, those aren't for sale. I'm kidding. I have so many of them, you can just take them. Excellent you, news. You have overstock? No one ever wants them. Already, everyone already, everyone in town already has them. I told you it wasn't a good idea to open shop here. We never get visitors. Still, it's all. Right, I just no. made a, uh, a week's worth of. Uh, you broke the channeling station. <laughs> He's got three. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. He, I saw it. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, uh, Regardless, uh, uh, thank you for your time. Uh huh. Um, now I got. Uh, yeah, you need to fix the channeling take, station now. I gotta, I gotta think about my life. Yeah, you really do. Yeah. Oh, it's all right, man. I mean, still I, making money. Dude, still supporting the family. You gotta look out for that man. He's got some weird shit on him. Made me puke my guts out. Oh, you he want some you, too? If you hear me give some, do you look out? You want some too? What is it? Oh, it's called Nomios. They're the most delicious and uh, fiber enhancing uh, cereal you ever tasted. It's bad for you. Dwarves hate fiber. No, dwarves need fiber because they, you know how much they eat? Mm. How much fiber is in it? 100%. Oh, God, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> only fiber. That's the only fiber. <laughs> Nothing else is in there but fiber. <laughs> fiber and milk. We'll pass you might as well just put a whole bunch of fiber in a bowl of milk and just be like, gulp. That's what it is. No, they're in pieces. My little cereal piece. Yeah, they're in the shape of gnomes. Ah, uh, this one's my grandfather, Eustace. You see yourself out. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Dungeons and Emblems. If you do like this episode, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell below to know when there's new episodes come out. New episodes of Dungeons and Emblems come out every Thursday from here on out. On Wednesdays, we also have another series ran by the one who plays Jack Truth Prince 
called What Lies Beyond the Sarcophagus, and if you want to stay tuned for that, remember to hit that notification bell below. Also, we also have AC2 High. Wow, so many campaigns running in one channel. Are you crazy? Maybe on AC2 High, we have those episodes coming out on Fridays. So Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, we have our episodes for our campaigns that come out day after day after day on those days. So stay tuned in there and hit that notification bell if you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching.